The last fight on the main card here, Sarah McMahon, the old wrestler, uh, against new undefeated newcomer Caitlin Vieira. And this is a really interesting fight because of the odds. Again, Sarah McMahon, a minus 260 favorite here. Total two and a half over minus 280 at the CGT Sportsbook here at the Palms Resort Casino in Las Vegas. Um, and McMahon's one of those fighters she's really tricky to figure out, right? 36 years old at this point, doesn't have a lot of punching power, only one knockout on her resume, but maybe the best, if not one of the top three wrestlers ever in female MMA, at least the female MMA in the UFC. But she's found a lot of ways to lose fights against the lead opponents. You know, lost to Rousey, lost to Tate, lost to Amanda Nunez. But now she's on a three-fight winning streak, actually, against much lesser opponents. And the question, I guess, is at 36 years old, what does Sarah McMahon have left in the tank? And on the other side of it, we, you know, we bring in a newcomer here who we don't know a ton about, uh... You know, in Vieira, she's only 26 years old, so a decade age difference here. McMahon, 36. Vieira, 26. She's undefeated, 8-0. She fights for a major gym out of Brazil. Uh, the, in fact, the same gym, um, you know, is a lot of famous fighters, um, including Jose Aldo. So she's at a major gym in Brazil. And look, she's 2-0 and in the UFC. Both of her wins come by decision. But what I did like is she has five finishes and eight wins. And prior to coming to the UFC, she had five finishes and six wins. So this is a girl who, who ripped through the regional circuit in Brazil, not just winning fights, but destroying opponents there and finishing them at a fairly good rate. Since she stepped up in class in the UFC, she's had to go to the judges' scorecards in both of her fights. But I think that she could probably outwork Sarah McMahon here. And this is one of those classic grappler versus striker matchups. Even though Vieira looks to be good on the ground, she's a really strong Brazilian jiu-jitsu game here. You don't want to end up on the bottom against Sarah McMahon. So I definitely don't want to lay the price at 260 with Sarah McMahon. But I'm certainly intrigued to take plus 220. Uh, with Vieira here because I think if she keeps the fight standing she's probably going to be able to outwork McMahon McMahon doesn't have a big output of punches on her feet uh, and even if it does go to the ground I think there's a chance that an over aggressive McMahon on the ground could get caught in a submission so uh, is Sarah McMahon a deserved favorite here she certainly has the better resume but she's also failed every time she stepped up in class in the UFC. As we said, lost to Tate, lost to Rousey, lost to Nunez. I think there's a little value here. Maybe she's a little overpriced now that she's on that three-fight win streak. I'm going to take the 10-year-old younger young lady here in Vieira at plus 220 and hope that she can outwork Sarah McMahon.